I was placed in this hospital room for high blood pressure complications. I did everything my doctors told me to do, including taking the prescribed medications, which I've been on for years, but I still ended up here. When I got out, I learned about my art of leaf, an all natural extract that got my hypertension under control. Don't continue to drug yourself into becoming healthier. Go to myautoleaf.biz to learn more. And a lot of people will say, what does these snakes, these managers who were dishonest, Barry, what does that have to do with the fact that your brother was having consistent relations with underage women? How do you tie the two together? Well, um, again, um, like I said, I was, I wasn't, first of all, I wasn't there when, okay. when that was happening. When I actually said the things that I had said, mm -hmm. I was at a bad place in my life, okay? And I was, I was angry at my brother. I basically was only repeating stuff that I heard other people say. I'm just being 100. I'm being 100. Not on all of it? Um, I wouldn't say, it depends on what you're talking about. I mean, because as far as controlling, I felt like he was controlling to a certain degree. When it came to when it came to certain things, I felt like that. Um, <clears throat> um, so all the stuff about your sister and her molesting you and your brother was that true or false? That was that was the truth. Okay. Um, the truth. What about the tape that you found um, that you said you had came in possession of of uh, two white girls that R. Kelly had your brother Robert had met at the mall. And I guess he met him at the mall, brought him back to the house, recorded them, and you found the tape. And you could have easily turned the tape over to the authorities, but you didn't do that. Was that true? That wasn't true. Really? That wasn't true. Wow. Why? So you do understand the, the documentary that Lifetime did, contributed heavily to the investigation that was opened against your brother. Right. And that's when, of course, by looking, they found that taxes weren't being paid. Girls were being flown in with or without parents. Um, money going here and there. And that's when the laundry, you know, the money laundering came into place. And it was just so much that was just kind of like, wow, like, you know, you're R. Kelly, you're this. And then you know, your your interview, it went viral because there were a lot of things that were said um, that people was like, damn, like this is his brother. So he knows like what made you say something like that? Because I was angry. Um, I knew that it was a lot of people out there saying there was tapes and different things of that nature. And, you know, I basically mixed the truth with things that I heard other people saying. As far as my sister, um, that that's correct. That did that did truly happen, but I was angry, and 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 I was hurt as well. And I was immature, and I went about it the wrong way, being immature. And that's what that's what I that's the result that I ended up with. So, how do you feel about what has happened to your brother? I feel real bad. I feel really bad behind it <clears throat> because. To me, one thing that led from um, brothers uh, being angry at each other or having disagreements um, to something so real that people were saying that he did this, he did that, and I feel like I was a part of it because I said it too. I hadn't been around in 20 years, so I don't know what he was doing during that time that we wasn't there. I just was repeating what other people said. And, and, and I started actually believing it in my psyche because everybody is saying this. One thing that our mama taught us is if everybody is saying something about you, then it got to be some truth to it. So in my psyche, I started believing it. What made you change your mind? Actually being able to see that this is his life on the line. This is not like um, other situations and other cases that he beat. This is not like, you know, the other people that 
said these things and it wasn't proven in the court of law. You know, when you're angry, you just don't, you, sometimes you don't even care about how to, what the outcome going to be at that time. I didn't, I didn't care about what the outcome was going to be at that time. I mean, it's been a lot of rumors that he supposed to did this or he supposed to did that, but he never went to jail behind it like that. He went to jail and beat it or he went to jail and got out the next day. This is a so real moment where they talking about giving him life. Um, the, the situation has changed. It's, it's, it's not, it's not a game anymore. So if I have to persecute myself and, and, and just basically tell people that I did lie or I, I made mistakes on a lot of different things, I, I don't mind doing that because that's what the truth is. A lot of people might say, well, you know, was he lying then? Is he lying now? I mean, that's their opinion. They, they crucified Jesus. So who am I? I'm a human being just like everybody else is. Well, I think they would probably consider you more as a Judas. You know? I mean, well. Because of, I guess, and, and, and I want to put this out here. Every but their family opinion has, don't make me, their opinion don't make me use the bathroom. Right. You, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? So I really don't care nothing about, I don't give a damn about their opinion. Yeah. My, my story and everything that I'm talking about right now is only going to reach real people, Tasha. Real people. Real people make mistakes. Real people stand up and be accountable for them. Real people be apologetic. Real people feel bad. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fake people don't feel none of that. <clears throat> they don't feel none of that. So if I suppose to reach real people, then that's what it is. I'm not trying to reach fake people. I'm not trying to reach people that's talking about my family, but they're not looking at theirs. I'm not trying to reach people that know they got a, a molester or whatever they want to call it in their family or uncle that's doing something to their niece. Everybody got problems, but they, you know, they, they turn a blind eye to it. They just looking at my family because the eye of the sky is on them. I don't, I'm not trying to reach them type of people. Well, what if they were to say that maybe now the only reason you're coming forward is because there's no... Because your brother has been charged and maybe, <clears throat> you know, maybe y'all have somewhat made up behind the scenes. I mean, he is your brother. You know what I'm saying? And you're only doing this to make him look better in the public. What if what if what if the viewers are thinking that? Well, if they thinking that, then they should know that I drove all the way to New York twice. OK, I went down there not being on the visitor list or anything, just stepping out on faith. OK, and I went there to try to see what's going on because I've been hearing different things and people been telling me how the trial was going. So I put myself in the trial. And what did you see when you got there? When I got there, I seen people being caught in lies. I seen people saying different things and 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 Robert's lawyers cross examining them and catching them in lies. I seen it with my own eyes. And so I hadn't even talked to my brother. That, 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 that was just what was in my heart for me to go and apologize to him and go down there and see what's going on with him and to let him know that I still love him. He's still my brother. That's my mama's child at the end of the day. Like, I'm, I'm his brother. Can't nothing and nobody in the world ever change that. You know, so it wasn't it wasn't the fact that I'm I'm doing it to make him think this or make him think that. I'm doing it because this is where I'm at right now in my life and this is what my heart is leading me to do. Okay. And I love my brother. Okay. Wow, I mean that's 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 a blow. I mean, this is information that I'm finding out for the first time because I didn't know you didn't you didn't tell me that some of the things that you had said was exaggerated in the interview. And I do want to put out there too, because, you know, um, everybody has family. 